Looks like a melted f dildo. I'm Scotty Mills in New York, Kitty McPrick, and this is like the first official episode of Scotty Mills Unfiltered. This is Smoo America. Scotty Mills Unfiltered, m in America, okay? And here, I get mad about just about everything, okay? Between movies, music, politics, weekly pricks, you name it, somebody's gonna piss me off. And this is America, and I got opinions. And since I got opinions, I like to share them because I find myself a little bit entertaining. Am I egotistical? Maybe. Narcissist? I have no idea. Ignorant? I really don't think so. But if you think so, then say so. And today, I want to talk about movies. Okay, Halloween movie to be exact. But first, if you like this, like it. If you don't, don't like it. Comment if you love it. Comment if you hate it. Share it even if you think I'm an ignorant, arrogant prick, because this is what I do. Follow me, mother And if you're wondering what this thing down in the corner is, it says BW. Guess what? That's how many bad words I can say. I don't know. You know what? If I keep on doing this, man, it'd be kind of cool to be a drinking game. Like I said, I'm talking about movies today, okay? Halloween movies in specific. Mainly just one. Hocus Pocus 2. Now, I know I'm not even that Okay, even though my back cracks, I got arthritis in both my knees and my hangs a little bit to the right more than I like to. But you know what? Movies have changed ever since I was a kid. Now, what is it that made movies good when we were kids? I don't know, okay? We had really shitty special effects, shitty makeup, shitty everything, shitty acting. Even though kids acting now is like way worse than it ever has been. But I, I have no idea, like honestly, how to respond to that one. It just honestly doesn't make any sense. Like, how can talent just go away? But you know what? Disney, okay, man? Disney was on like all the time, okay? Whenever I was able to have Able. They had, you know, Halloween marathons and shit. I don't know what the hell they do now besides, like, be pedophiles in private. I Honestly, <laughs> they used to be, like, a lot more, like, I don't know, sexual, like, coming forward or whatever. I don't know how to say it. But now it's like they be pedophiles behind the scenes and they try to hide it and say that they're all monkey dory fuck inclusive, diverse. I don't know. But, yeah, man, they're, they're honestly just a bunch of pedos. Not as bad as Nickelodeon, though. Movies, man, they used to just be a fun little story with a bad guy who looks like they're gonna win and in the end they don't, okay? Good always triumphs evil. Happy f***ing end and kids scream. They watch the movie for the 80th f***ing Their mom just pulls her hair out in the next room because she's annoyed listening to it, but that's how it used to be. Movies have changed completely, okay? Not even just kids' movies. And you know, they also used to hold, like, actual f***ing values and have, like, lessons and shit. You know, the good always triumphs evil. Evil gets defeated. I mean, the world is an evil f***ing place, right? I mean, and movies used to show that bad guys existed. But now it's like, most of the time, bad guys, like, turn good or some shit. I don't no, that's where Hocus Pocus kind of comes in. You just don't understand when they have to remake everything or, or like create sequels for stuff. I mean, it's getting so played out. Originality is gone. Kids' movies are f gone. Now, I, I always say like originality doesn't come from the idea. It comes from what you do with the idea. And okay, and if you ask me, I'm correct. Don't even f say I'm wrong because it's true. It's true, honestly, man. Like from the dawn of f time, there was only so many stories you could really f tell. I mean, they all pretty much have the same basic function or foundation. My bad. I f words. I go really f fast in my head. But you know, they actually used to have like stories and shit. It, it seemed fun and original back then, and, and even though most of the stories were not. But, you know, even watching the ones I used to, yeah, they're pretty cheesy and stupid, but it was fun, okay? It was fun. And I still find them fun now. Now, I know Disney, they lack good writers, they lack good stories, and a lot of the time, what do they do? They recycle the shit like I said. But then they had to come up with this idea that they wanted to make a sequel to a pretty decent kids movie, even though it was, like, extremely weird. So, Hocus Pocus 2. I mean, honestly, man, when I heard they were making it, I got a little bit scared for anybody who did love the original, but it was a really weird f***ing movie, okay? It was ridiculously dumb. I mean, it was sexualized like a m****. If you look at Sarah Jessica Parker, okay, her tits were out like the whole f***ing movie. She was practically riding the bus driver's s***, and I'm pretty sure that dude's love interest gave him a handy under the blanket in that one scene towards the end. Personally, I really do hate when there's so much sexual energy in movies, not even just kids' movies, but, you know, that's... This is how it is, and unfortunately, it's like that. Now, I, I do feel like they did all like all these sly, smirky comments and, and the the tits. Honestly, maybe maybe Sarah Jessica Parker had no self respect. I have no f***ing idea. There was a lot of weird shit that went behind the scenes there. I mean, you could Google it, look it up on YouTube. Somebody's got it somewhere. But you know, I feel like they do that to like keep the the, the adults interested while their kids are watching these movies. But anyway, the movie it was good. Okay, man, it was about a kid who moved from LA. He was a skeptic when it came to magic and witches and stuff like that. Uh, accidentally lit the black candle, brought the creepy bitch, dumb bitch, and the ditzy bimbo. Bitch back to life and then they tried to save the world watching it now you know it kind of drags out it's a little bit boring here and there i mean it was very cheaply made it looked i mean nothing like the new one the new one's cinematic like like visually looks good but the story was f trash but you know the old one man the bad guys lost because good triumphs evil like i f***ing said i mean that's just how the world works not all the time though kids really need to learn that sometimes they will die that was a little dark but yeah man i mean that's just how it was okay you know bad guys used to be bad i mean now they're not. Now, now, like, in the, in the end of Hocus... You know, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. All right. 
So, going into the second one, you know, I knew it'd be a waste of mental f energy. Um, it was gonna be completely f stupid. I was probably gonna fall asleep. I, you know, ate Burger King thinking that was gonna, like, up my f happiness. Because I'm gonna eat something that's shitty but makes me feel good while I watch something that makes me feel like dog shit. But, you know, the first thing, man, I did notice Mother Witch in that f movie. I don't understand her point, like, why she was just thrown in there. I'll tell you that. Um, once again, cleavage. I know they did that on purpose. But, you know, I did notice Sarah Jessica Parker, her tits weren't out. I mean, I don't know if they dropped because she got old as f Maybe she did gain some self-respect, but they were not anywhere to be found. That part, I will say, was pretty good because I can't stand when they just sexualize a big character or, like, a popular character. And even though it's, like, she, in the first one, she had, like, a really good, strong personality to her. She's a ditzy person. She's a little bit dumb. But, you know, maybe somewhere in there, you know, there's some sympathy for her because of how her sisters treat her. She's got something to her. You don't just gotta bang out the f wahoos, man. Anyway, man, I gotta stop talking about cleavage. Okay, okay, in the opening scene, though, okay, basically it's to establish the fact that the woods are sacred to witches, right? But throughout the whole movie, not once did they explain how a witch becomes a witch. I mean, 16th birthday, get the powers, okay, but is it in the bloodline? I have no idea. The writers suck. It's just one of those things that, you know, doesn't make sense throughout the movie. It, most of the movie didn't make sense, but that's just one tiny thing. But, you know, in the first movie, man, they didn't really have to explain why the witches were witches and shit like that. I mean, it was pretty self-explanatory they were evil witches. I mean, everybody knows the story of a witch. Witches are witches, right? You don't have to, like, dive deep. And that was one thing about the first movie that, you know, is really nice because it's a very simple story, man. We focused on the other characters and we focused on the witches' intentions. We didn't have to know why they do this or where they came from because it wasn't necessary for the movie. But apparently for this movie, it's necessary, right? Apparently. I don't know. No, but you know the opening scene they had Winnie they had Mary they had Sarah their kids right their kids just oh god the acting was horrible man I, like I said kids acting man it's just, it's just so bad but it was cringy like I honestly was scared more scared than I was watching that devil in Ohio which I'll probably do something on that but you know they get the book from Mother Witch okay you know the one with the cleavage that I mentioned and <laughs> but you know the book with the eye in it okay you know with all the spells and shit like that now apparently the book has a personality in this movie and it's it knows right from wrong I don't now, Disney, honestly, man, they're trying to, like, beat some f***ing fluffed-up garbage into kids nowadays. It's ridiculous. But, you know, cut to present day. What do we see? We got a couple of preteens or whatever, maybe, like, 14, 15, with absolutely no backstory to them. None whatsoever. I mean, there, there was nothing that you even need to know about these girls. No parents, no nothing. Except for one, she's got a dad who's the mayor. Uh, f***ing, he was just thrown in. He was trash. It was, but, you know, they throw us, like, right into this argument between these girls because one started hanging out with a jock. Okay, she started hanging out with, like, popular kids, and now, and, and these girls, they also really like witchcraft and shit, and it's kind of weird. I feel like Disney's just, like, implementing this evilness onto kids, and they're just like, here, practice spells. God. the country. Be evil. I don't know, that's just stupid. But, you know, the girl, she left the group to go date that jock, and the jock, man, he bullies people and doesn't know that he does it until he's told that he's bullying, and then he feels bad. I mean, the jock was He was a big, fat I am very graphic. But that's what Disney does, man. Nowadays, they just pussify everybody. I mean, I swear. I could go on and on about the story and the plot, but honestly, I'll probably get there. I don't f know. We just see what happens when I talk, right? But the movie basically ends with Winifred basically realizing she's evil without her sisters because her sisters flew away like infinity with the f dust particles and shit. She's nothing without her sisters, and all the destruction that barely even f happened was pointless. And happy f ending. The kids walk off, and they got powers now, and Mother Witch is flying like a crow behind them. It, it was stupid. But, you know, the whole time, I'm just like, where are the bad guys from the first one? I mean, Winnie wasn't that creepy, number one. Mary wasn't that dumb and always apologized to Winnie. And Sarah wasn't even that ditzy. I have no idea what Sarah Jessica Parker was even doing. She's like white people oatmeal. No flavor. But I wanted to see them lose. Man, it's like Disney doesn't want to show these kids that bad guys exist. And that good will always defeat them. But instead, they show kids that you could change and change bad people to be good and blah, 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 blah. It was terrible, man. I mean, plot holes like a the main girl becomes a witch, don't even know how, because nothing from her family or anything. Uh, Gilbert, the main guy, or at least you think he's the main guy, apparently he was in the 1993 when the witches were there in the first one, even though they just made him up, whatever. I he was practically just there to fill in the shitty reasoning for trying to bring the witches back. So he, he thought it'd be cool if he brings the witches back, but he knows for a fact they're evil and doesn't realize that they're going to be evil again. What the hell? Yeah, he read a book that told him how evil they were, and he still decided to bring them back thinking it was going to be all fun. Now, I want to go back to what I was saying about, you know, how, like, they try not to show that they're a pedophile. Um, the black flame candle that Gilbert, like, recreates looks like a melted f dildo. Now, in the original one, the black flame candle, it was just a nice little candle, right? On a little, little f tray. This one, it was a glob of f monster f 
But was it a coincidence? Possibly, but maybe it was just kind of weird. Okay, point of this rant, okay, in the movie is that they ruined yet another childhood memory of mine. I mean, I can't have anything nice anymore. I mean, when I used to watch Halloween movies, okay, honestly, I loved them on Disney. Okay, no matter how cheesy they were and bad guys were bad and good guys were good, that was just a bottom line, okay? But with this one, I just can't comprehend the fact that they actually thought it'd be a good idea to bring this movie back and make a sequel because it really was bad. For example, on some bad writing, okay, the witches, uh, you know, the girls, like, they find them in the woods or whatever. The witches come back into the woods after they light the flame, um, and then they, they be like, oh, we, we need to eat some children or some shit and get the book for them, make potions, and these teens were just like, oh, um, you know, trying to save their life, um, we can just, you know, um, go to the store and get potions, and they're like, oh, there's souls in there, and they're like, yeah, there's souls in there, so what do they do, they take them to Walgreens Pharmacy, okay, now, they're talking about lotions and face creams and things like that, wouldn't you think it would make sense to, like, take them to a beauty store or some shit, because, you know, the whole thing was, like, trying to make them look young or, or, or help them stay young or whatever like that, but no, they go to a Walgreens, and it's crazy, man, because, like, like, the, the, the Winifred sister or the Whatever, Sanderson sisters, okay, they're, they're like acting like they've never seen technology before, but they were around in 1993. So, you know, they walk into like a, a, a automatic opening door and it's like, wow, witchcraft. Did they not go to a Kmart in 1993 when they got brought back to the life? Another thing I noticed, man, they, just, they do a lot of like, you know, just like trans and cross dressers for Halloween and gay people in the movie as if like they're just trying to put them in there. Yeah, I, I really can't stand, okay, especially like nowadays, like they just like, they, they typecast like a mother. Right, they're trying to appeal to certain people. They just throw people in there in order to like meet some like kind of almost like a quota, bro, of like I don't know wokeism. And like honestly, I have no problem with that shit, you know. But it just seemed like forced, man. They were just throwing motherfuckers in there, drag queen, uh, drag queen race and shit like that, which was honestly it, it could have been fun, but it just sounded stupid. Honestly, they, the way that they filmed this and the way that they wrote this, man, it's like they didn't utilize anything that they had in the movie. Nothing. What's so ever? It just seemed like a bunch of different ideas for scenes and then a really garbage timeline and storyline they put that onto a screen tell your kids to watch it and call it a day the thing that i can say that was good about this movie okay yeah there's got to be something that i like right well one i like the fact that you know how like in the old movie or the first one you know instead of uh, riding brooms they were riding like vacuums and shit i think mary was riding the vacuum that was fun well in this one she was riding two dj roombas man i mean that was kind of cool i, I kind of like that little shit you know, they brought Billy back. Of course, Billy Butcherson, you know, that was a fun character. I kind of liked him in this one a little bit more, to be honest. But one thing that I really couldn't stand, I thought was going to be cool, is they had, like, a little throwbacks and shit like that, right? The two people, you know, like, the, the devil and his wife or some shit, you know, from the first one, and they actually thought it was Satan. They had that playing on a TV screen, but then they, like, referenced it, like, three more f***ing times. Like, just that one scene. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, how lazy can you be? That you have to put in throwbacks just to, like, I don't know, appease people like me who liked the original movie. But it did not appease me. No, I hated it. But, like, like you, you're you so unoriginal. Like, you just want to, like, please everybody. That's why you put a gay person here, throwbacks here, I don't know here. It was just completely trashed. No, maybe I didn't really touch too much on, like, everything in this movie. And honestly, I don't have to. I'm just mad, and I'm telling you that I'm mad. And, you know, if you didn't watch it, go watch it and hate yourself for it, please point of this, though, I guess, is the fact that Disney just wants to recycle. Okay, they want to make sequels. They want to have shitty characters. Okay, and they, they ruin their own character, their own creations. Now, could they have built on this and actually made a good sequel? Yes. Will they make a third one that will suck? Honestly, at this point, probably. I mean, they even made, remade Mighty Ducks, and Mighty Ducks, honestly, just leave it the f alone. Please. Disney needs to leave shit alone. Okay, you know that they're doing Little Mermaid now? The only f good movie that they've actually made a live-action version of was in, uh, what was it, Beauty and the Beast, okay, everything else sucked, it's, it's gonna suck, man, uh, Ariel, look, I'm not even mad about her, okay, the actress, I'm just saying the movie is gonna be trash, now that's all I got, though, you know what, next video, okay, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about politics, the border, immigration, shit like that, and I'm gonna be asking questions, okay, like, um, why the f*** don't we shut this shit down?